If you've been looking into the cameras on the iPhone 14s at all, then you've probably come across the words photonic engine a million times. Yet, you're probably still wondering what it actually does for your photos. Well, this video is here to show you that difference. The photonic engine is something that's already integrated within the camera system on an iPhone 14, so it's always there ready to kick in, and there's no switch to toggle it on or off. It really is just applying deep fusion to an uncompressed image compared to before, where it would be applied to a lossy compressed image. For the seasoned photographers, I guess we can think of it as running deep fusion using raw files as opposed to JPEGs. This way, the algorithm has a richer source material to work with, hence better results. It sounds really simple, but an uncompressed image is many times larger in data quantity, so I do find it very impressive that the shooting experience is not impacted in terms of speed and performance. Performance. This all also means that the gains from Photonic Engine are tied to Deep Fusion. Just to recap, Deep Fusion happens in low to medium light environments, so anything between requiring night mode and out in blazing sunlight would fall within that category, and that's when you'll see the effects of the new Photonic Engine. Now, I'm sure everyone's anxious to see a side-by-side -side comparison right now, but I first need to explain what I'm about to show you. I'll be showing you comparison shots between the main camera of an iPhone 14 and an iPhone 13 Pro. They share the same camera hardware, but the 14 has the upper hand of Photonic Engine, while the 13 Pro does not. So this, in my opinion, is the best way to demonstrate the Photonic Engine difference. Let's kick our comparison off with this shot. On subjects with fine texture, like the fabric on my gaff tape, you can see it not only looks sharper on the iPhone 14, but we're also getting more detail as well thanks to the Photonic Engine. Here's another shot captured on the iPhone 13 Pro. If we zoom in and I sweep to the same shot captured on the 14, you can very clearly see the difference in detail. But while detail gets increased, we actually also see a decrease in noise. When it comes to digital imaging, noise reduction always comes at the expense of detail, but this here is somehow giving us less noise while also giving us more detail which just goes against everything we know. Finally, to show that all this is more than just a sharpening pass, here's some distant text in an iPhone 13 photo that is basically impossible to read, and here's the same shot with an iPhone 14 that's got the new Photonic Engine. It's still difficult to read, but definitely more legible than before. So Photonic Engine really does bring about some visible improvements. It works on every camera on every variant of the iPhone 14, so the gains brought about by Photonic Engine are in addition to all the raw improvements you're getting out of the upgraded camera hardware. So hopefully you now have a better idea of what the Photonic Engine is doing for you next time you snap a photo on your iPhone 14. If you found this video helpful, maybe I'll see you in one of my other videos.